guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well wow that is bright um yeah sorry that really distracted me uh yeah hope you're doing well guys uh we're back on the farm today um rich is just putting some biscuit meal away and and then we're going for a load of straw and some other bits and jobs of whatever else is going on so i'm going to take you along with me um i can't believe how cold it is it's gone freezing i'm in my ski pants i even uh treated myself to some new ski pants because my other ones were absolutely knackered but anyway uh yeah so i hope you enjoy this video guys if you haven't done already please do like and subscribe and enjoy the video <laughs> I've got a phobia of blowing tyres up now. Wow. Blew my wheelbarrow tyre up and it, my tyre burst. Now I hate doing it. People have died from it though, haven't they? Yeah. Serious. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I must just have overfilled it and it did have a few cracks in it as well. Perhaps my own fault. Right, so we're just waiting for Richard to finish putting that biscuit meal away. Oh, it's still ready now for you. Um, so, he's, so when he's finished with the Kramer, so we're just taking one of the flatbeds down to the White Hall now, which is what, a mile away? Yeah, it's a mile away. 
to get a few loads of straw. What straw are you getting? Are you getting feed in a bed in the straw? Uh, both. A bit of both? Yeah. Brown bales and square bales. Right. Putting round bales and straw trippers seem to work better. Oh, is it liking it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. New straw chopper, isn't it? I'm not sure I've shown yeah, yeah. that on here actually yet. Maybe not. No. The same as the other one really, it's just a bit wider so you can put brown ones in it. It'd be easier than loading it up by hand, won't it? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, there's loads of them in So while we're at Whitehall, we've just come to have a look down at these sheep who, they're not our sheep, someone just winters them over um, on our land. So we've just come to see if they've enough to eat, if they need moving, if they're paddling it up, that sort of thing. See if there's anything majorly lame. We have actually just seen the farmer who the sheep belong to and he said that he's going to come sometime this week and just check through them all as well. See if anything needs moving and all of that. So we just got to Whitehall and there's just some things in the way of the straw shed. So Ben's just, I've just moved the car. Ben's just uh, going to move this cheddar. Which I think Richard and Dan were actually here yesterday oiling it. That's why it looks so shiny. Looks lovely. Is he going to manage? Yep. Lift up, down. 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 Here we go. It'll be coming back in here obviously to keep it out of the weather, but it's just in the way at the minute. Richard's just arrived with the other trailer. Ben's filled this other one, so he's going to drop this one off and he'll be putting um, Heston bales on this one instead. Just wrap this one up. What's wrong there? Changed his mind, he's taken them out of. The building next door instead so he's just going to spin that one around there and then he'll come and pick this one up that ben's loaded uh take that one back ben will load the other one and yeah pretty straightforward all right let's open this big door Right, 
And then this is your feeding straw, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the old John Deere in here. Shit. So this is what uh, Dan and Richard were doing yesterday. They were oiling up all the machines, ready to be stored away for the whole of the winter. Well, good then. Spray with oil, yeah. Look brand new. Even she looks brand new. Strap them back few bales on to go down the road and off he goes with that one. Ben's just gonna carry on loading this and then he'll come back and pick this trailer up as well. is in the stubble turnip field with granddad by the looks of it and I don't have granddad's brew so that's a bit mean but anyway and just moving the fence over for the sheep I'm just going to try and show you a few turnips oh she kept me there we are turnip but they like eating the leaves as well they normally go for the leaves first but Ben was saying how they've been leaving the leaves and um scratching up the turnips and going for them then the dead sweet it's actually up to our knees, which I should have kept my dungarees on because I'm going to get soaked now. But anyway, let's go and see what these two are doing. Face him. You alright? Right, Grandad? Yeah, they're so, so good to watch, aren't they? Oh, he's lost one. Quick. Yeah. On meadows, we want them off meadows at Christmas. Yeah. Or they can stop on here on February, March, because this is going down to May. So yeah. So that's why we put this on. And uh, so there'll be pains growing this. Yeah. And how long will um, will the sheep stay on till March? Just or just until you finish eating it? They, yeah, once these get finished, He'll bring something else. Right. Even if there's some younger in lamb stuff, he'll bring them yeah. to clean it all off. Right, yeah. And he leaks all this one he can. Yeah. And we'll, I don't know how many this we have in here, but white or yeah. uh, and then them when they've got fat, he'll bring them back. He's, he's bringing some to put on here just to finish them off. So. Right. But when they finish down there all together, we'll finish it white all and then everything will be okay. Yeah. Like, are they ready? You tell me. There's some nice sized ones. Yeah, I saw a massive one on the way down. Is it ready, that? You have a know. Chew it. Is it ready? Bite into it. Try it. I mean, I'll yeah. spit it out, can't I? Yeah. It's sweet. It's alright. Is it? Mm. I'll try it. <laughs> Actually, it's alright. <laughs> it is. Pick as many as you want. They're very sweet. <laughs> 
Yeah. Once you get past the skin on the white bit. Yeah. It's actually sweet and tasty. It's a little bit like a radish, but not spicy. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a better one? It's a bit muddy, that one. Oh, it's fine. No, I didn't want it. Oh, you're taking it home. What about the horses? Horses eat turnips. Do they? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's take it with us. Take it Thought you want some. One each. Right, so Ben and Dad last fenced this and they just put a post in next to the hedge and we've noticed walking down that a few of the turnips where they've been fenced off have been nibbled, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Richard's gone for a pallet to try and stop them getting through. That should do the trick. Probably got two wires to go to the other Help. Shops are good in. Yeah, we're better there, aren't we? So this is where the sheep have been. You can tell the difference massively. There's literally nothing left. They've eaten everything. Which is a good thing about sheep. They eat right to the core. So we've not actually fenced masses off because um, it's, it'll be too much for them and they won't clean it up as well as we have done on this side. So they've just made a bit of a dog leg in, which I'll go and show you now. Richard's just going to tighten up the top wire and then sheep have been off, have gone off because the farmer's come to uh, weigh them and then anything that's ready to go to market, he'll take back with him and anything that's not quite made the cut, he'll stay and put a bit more weight on. So we're just coming into the dog leg now. Grandad, chief fencer. I'm down here now with the oh I'm zoomed in with the feature at uh, the feet charmers sheep farmers. What are you doing? Are you weighing them, seeing if they're ready to go to market? Yeah, there's um we're just gonna go through um just like them up there, Dad. We've been through one lot, and then we're sorting anything fat yeah. um, to go on Monday to Lancaster. Right. Second oh yeah, go on. And then everything else will stop down here. Let them get a bit more weight yeah. on. Finish them and how often, how often will you come and weigh them? Depends how good your grass is. <laughs> well, they're on turnips. <laughs> We've just tried it. They're well nice. It'll be um, another one. Yeah, another, another yeah, middle of December. We'll come and have another look. Another look, another, yeah. Three weeks-ish. Grand. Just see how the... Uh, Do you know how many you've brought to us? Haven't a clue. Granddad was guessing about 300. No, there'll be, no, there could four. be 450, 500, All right. maybe. 400. 400, yeah, there could there'll have been about 400. Right, hell. Maybe 400 through the uh, time we've got finished with them. Yeah. So, well, so we'll just, uh, that's 50 kilos, so they can go into, purple shoulders will be go, uh, going to a heavier pen. Right. And then and 45s will go, purple bombs they'll go in another pen. Right. Well, so, hopefully. All right, little system going. Well, Out. out into the field. So they're staying for another month or two before yeah, they get weighed again. Hondons will still be in July. <laughs> Later, born. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got plenty of time. He'll, uh, Go on. He'll do another. Not the soon too. Yeah. Don't look like they've had much to eat on them, but. No, yeah. like that one I've had. A bit longer yet? Yeah, a bit longer. Right. And you, have, you want it to be 45 to make it. Yeah, to make it worthwhile for you. Come on. See, if you get them too heavy, they start penalising them, you see. Ah, right. 
about 45 yeah, yeah that's not so bad that can go in a bit lighter on green yeah we have to read the tag oh that's a fancy device what are you reading the tag for then you read the tag so when they go we just have a a record of what's gone, what numbers, we right. can just put it on the licence Yeah, yeah. for us. And what does that like, plug into your computer or something and then you can just no, read it No, we're more pen and paper if we have to do that. Right. Just as a, we have a reader there. Oh, yeah. The printer, sorry. And then oh, we'll send a copy. Yeah. We'll just send a copy. Oh, that's handy, isn't that's it? 20 of what we did last time. Yeah. And then when we've done these... It'll print out what you've done this time. Yeah, just connect it. There's 43. It's all traceability as well. It's all auctions. traceability for auctions. All oh, right. Like your auctions. Cow, cows and passports and tags. Yeah. Auctions and they won't accept the uh, forward full reading of the tags. Right. If they, they don't work, reader. if they have a read, you see, they have a read. Oops. One oh, there we go. They have a read there. But they won't take full responsibility for reading them. Right, yeah. So if we just read them... You've got right it then. then. Yeah, yeah you know what's it. going on, yeah. yeah. Let's stop that. <laughs> that looks a big one. Be about 46, yeah, 45. Yeah, give or take a little bit. You do do one in two weeks, yeah. They're full of sugar, are they? They were quite sweet. When yeah. I just had a Did try, try one. one, yeah, nice and sweet. Yeah, these will be energy. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of these lambs will be used to uh, fodder beets, <laughs> <laughs> fodder beets in spring, right. Lambs, so these are should be sort of already used to nibbling like crop. As yeah, yeah. So What's the difference between fodder beet and turnips then? You'll know that. <laughs> I'll have to Google it. Yeah, you, yeah, you, 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 I'll Google that. You Google that. There won't be a great deal of difference, will, be more, will there be more dry matter in fodder beet? I wouldn't really know, to be honest. Have a Google. We're a simple sheep farmers, you know. <laughs> I'm a simple dairy farmer. <laughs> You're a lot more technical than me. <laughs> about maybe. See, they're hot. They're hog lambs. We have a really tiny Beltex top, just for easy management on hogs. Right. Sometimes they don't grow. They don't just grow. Just big enough. Well, is it not? There'll be enough water at the time with. Yeah, leave it. Don't make it too feel, Dad. Still gets about. Right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Out now. Right? Out now. 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 You soon get used to the weight of it, won't you? Right, I'm going to leave the vlog there now, guys. I hope you've really enjoyed it. We've done a bit of sheep farming. Oh, it's focusing more on Bella than it is on me. Oh, there we go. Done a bit of sheep farming, a bit of um, dairy farming, I suppose. A bit of all sorts on this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. So the guys that were here doing the the sheep, the sheep farmers who bring their sheep here to winter, have actually said that I should go down to their farm and... Um, have a look around, like get stuck in and do a bit of sheep farming with them. So that would be really cool. They did say to go when they're scanning, which is more February, but if it's all right with them, I'd quite like to go a bit before, like get proper stuck in, do some day-to-day -day stuff with sheep as well. That'd be quite cool. Um, and then, what else was I gonna say? Um, I'm literally just finishing this vlog here and then I need to start milking. So, I'm going to try and get this uploaded as fast as I can. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out massively, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Say bye. Say bye.